Hey guys, welcome back to my channel everyone and today I'm going to be talking about the application process for anyone who's wanting to apply for dentistry or medicine in Egypt. Today I'm going to go over the application process for those of you who would like to study medicine and dentistry in Egypt. Let's get started. This is the book for my university. The name of my university is Ain Shams University and it's the stage one university in Egypt. So I will quickly go through each one of the courses that Ain Shams do at their university. They do medicine, dentistry, pharmacy, nursing, science, engineering, computer science, business, law. Just a note, they also teach vet med at Cairo University, Mansoura and other such places if you're interested. So there are actually three options, undergrad first year entry, undergrad transfer or graduate entry. Firstly I will cover the undergraduate first year entry as this is the most common, with medicine and dentistry being the courses that I will use as my example. If you're coming from the United Kingdom, you will need to be equivalent of 10 GCSEs with passes in all of them, meaning at least a C grade or above. As well as this, there are five subjects that you must have and these are English, Maths, Physics, Biology and Chemistry. It is extremely important that you have all three, otherwise they won't process your application any further. With these grades in hand, you will need to pick a university that is best suited to you. I will go on to explain this in a later part of my video. For now, you will need to get these grades in the original form sent to the WAF Dean office in Nasser City, Cairo. Then they will undergo a process of accreditation and within about 10 days they will let you know whether the courses that you have studied are suitable for applying to the courses here in Egypt. Side note, although the tuition isn't as costly in Egypt as it is in the UK, those with excellent grades can even apply to a scholarship which might potentially pay their full fees for the university of their choice. So it's as easy as that, you just need to get your grades, send them over and then choose a university that suits you. For those that would like to proceed with this, I would recommend getting in touch with me directly as I live one street away from the Wafadine office in Nasser City, so I can do my best to give them a nudge if needed. As for transfer students, you will need to be currently enrolled at university and you will need to be studying a relevant course. For example, if you want to study dentistry here, you have to already be studying dentistry at an alternative university. The same goes for medicine. There is some crossovers between the two, so if you're trying to switch, you may be put back a couple of years to cover any missed content. For transfer entry, you will need to ensure that you have the following two documents. One, your transcript. This needs to cover all the subjects that you have studied in your previous university. Two, the course content. This is so the university can compare it with their own course content to decide what year you enter into. Both of these documents then need to be legalised by the country of origin. So for me, I transferred from Ukraine and I needed to have both of my documents translated by a professional translator. I then sent them off to the Ministry of Education and the Ministry Ministry of Foreign Affairs. The Ministry of Education and the Ministry of Foreign Affairs had to sign and stamp my documents in order to prove that the university that I had attended was accredited in that particular country. This process can take a good few weeks, so I urge you guys to plan ahead. Once I received everything, I sent it all across the Wafadine office in Nasser City. I also visited the university of my choice and acquainted myself with the amazing staff there and looked at some of their facilities as well. When everything was decided, Ayn Shams University dropped me back one year to catch up with the high standards taught here in Egypt. Quick note, I did feel a little bit defeated that I had to drop back a year, but I know that it will all be worth it because I'll be having that higher standard of education. The standard in Egypt is exceptionally high and I would not recommend it to anyone who wants an easy ride into medicine or dentistry. There are lots of places in Europe that will provide you with a degree and by the time that you're finished there you will have a degree but you will have learned nothing. I plan to return to the UK as a fully qualified and registered capable dentist all while planning to sit the infamous ORE before I practice back in the UK which stands for Overseas Registration Exam. This is an exam that I will have to take in order to practice in the UK. So for me shortcuts are not the way forward and this is my advice to anyone who is wanting to take dentistry or medicine seriously. I plan to make a future video about the truth behind studying medicine and dentistry abroad. Finally, for graduate entry, you need to get your degree transcript, certificate and course content. There is then a website used to send in your paperwork online. It then goes to a dedicated office that will make an equivalence of your documents and they tell you which year you should enter in. 
2020. The massive upside to this is that when you graduate, you actually are recognised as having a postgraduate degree, which carries more weight internationally. So that is it for today, everyone. Thank you so much for listening to my video. If you have any questions, please put them in the comment section below. Please like and subscribe. And I will also have a second video coming out based on the fees involved for each university. Thank you so much for listening again, guys, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!